What's up guys? So me and Leia are back at the Cosmopolitan at the chandelier right here. We have a reservation at Momofuku which is behind us somewhere over there at 9 but it's my clock doesn't even work. <laughs> Uh, but it's like 7.40, 7.30, so we're just gonna kill some time before trying out the Momofuku Boo Boo. So we're at the chandelier at the Cosmopolitan, and we really are in the future, guys. These are the go-to menus now. Leia got a mojito. And yeah, guys, we're at the chandelier. I have no idea why this place is called the chandelier. It's kind of a stupid name. I can't figure out why it's called the chandelier. Can you? Yes. Why is it called a chandelier? It's chandelier right here. Oh, uh, okay. That's why it's called chandelier? Yes. All right, guys, so we just finished our drinks. We're at the Cosmopolitan. We're in the little food court area, and there's Momofuku right there behind us haven't tried it before should be good really excited I heard a lot of good things about it there's actually Momofuku a lot of places I think it started in New York there's one in LA but you gotta try the Las Vegas location right let's do it let's do it Alright guys, so we just got seated, the decorations in here, it's nice and chic, it's very dark in here, so I apologize for the footage ahead of time, but let's see what they got here guys. So funny thing guys, uh, we came in here and I was looking at the menu and I was eyeing the big eye tuna and the pork belly buns, and then when the waiter got here, I asked him what he recommended, and he said the big eye tuna and the pork belly buns. So it seems like I have great taste and a good eye, right? But yeah guys, look behind us. You see a parish right there. Uh, there's a nice view of the strip. There's some nice views in here guys. And I'm not talking about the strip. <laughs> I use that line twice, but it worked every time. I'm gonna get the shoyu pork ramen. I want something warm. Warm, okay. So Leia's gonna get the ramen and yeah. So it seems like this is a, like a Japanese fusion place. So yeah, we're gonna get a couple of dishes and try, give it a try. And also the waiter was telling us that there's a location in Los Angeles. I think the original one, original one started in New York, but he said that both locations are different. They have different specialties. So that's good. So maybe when we get back to LA, we could try the LA location. We're gonna try the specialties here in Vegas because that's what's recommended to us. All right guys, so I hate when this happens, but my mic cut off again. But I'm gonna try to salvage the audio and tell you guys what I'm doing. Basically, we ordered a stirred bonji old fashioned, which is a old forester bourbon with black sugar, rye bonji, and bitters, whatever that is. Yeah guys, I don't know if you could tell my face, but didn't really dig this drink too much. It had like a sweet flavor, a thick licorice type flavor with the bourbon. I think next time I would have just gotten a straight bourbon to sip on. I think they're doing a little bit too much here. But obviously it's a fusion restaurant. So maybe some of you guys will like it, but nah, not for me. tuna so I'm, unfortunately I'm gonna have to eat this all by myself sorry Leia but yeah so this here is one of their specialties it is the big eye tuna topped with shaved foie gras lychee and pine nut this is definitely a very interesting and eye-catching menu item um, I love sushi which is why I got the fresh raw tuna but the foie gras on top of this really made it special and that fusion item that momofuku is known for making but yeah guys the foie gras was nice and buttery it almost tasted like cheese it is a fatty duck liver and it just added a nice glaze of fat to the tuna on top of the tuna there was just some oils and i'm pretty sure that was from the foie gras fattiness and the lychee and pine nuts gave it a slight hint of sweetness 
to the tuna and yeah guys there was just so many different flavors while i was eating this it was crazy foie gras is french and i'm sure the tuna is japanese style prepared and the lychee nuts a little slight hint of asian fruits so yeah guys it was pretty good so yeah guys foie gras is a fatty duck liver and guys i know that doesn't sound appetizing but it's really good it complements the tuna complements the tuna very well it just adds a smooth, buttery, and sweet flavor on this already fatty tuna. It's pretty fire, guys. I didn't notice this before, but there's actually little pieces of lychee in here to give it that extra sweetness, another flavor into this dish. That's a trend I'm noticing in all these dishes. There's just so many flavors, you can't put your finger on one. There's saltiness, sweetness, Fatness, so much flavor. How's the ramen? Really good. There's like shredded pork in here and then uh, a crispy pork belly. So right here, I'm trying to show you pork ramen with seared pork belly, Naruto, Ninja Stars, and slow poached egg. Uh, at first, it looked like a safe item to get. It just looked like a typical Japanese ramen. But quickly, when I was tasting the dish, I realized that this is for sure a fusion dish. The noodles that they used weren't your typical Japanese style ramen. It tasted like Chinese or Taiwanese style noodles. On top of that, the seared pork belly had a nice bourbon taste to it, nice glazed sweet flavor. And when you bite through the crunch of the seared outer shell, the pork was just really juicy and fatty. Also, there was some pulled pork in that ramen. It almost tasted like Latin styled barbacoa and it was really juicy. But yeah, there's just so many flavors in this dish. It was very interesting to say the least. So this is another one of their specialties right here. This is a pork bun, pork belly bun. So there's poison on here, scallions and cucumbers. Take a bite. Cheers guys. Mm. The pork is marinated and a sweet glaze on the outside, but on the outside, it's just super crunchy and crisp. And then when you bite into the center, it just oozes with fat, sugar, and it's so sweet. It just oozes with fats and oils. And there's a, some sweet cucumber in there and hoisin sauce to just balance out the salty and sweet flavor. And then also the bland pork bun that's really tender to just Wow, it just encases all this sweet and salty flavor in a soft rice bun. So my overall opinions on Momofuku is that it is definitely a very interesting restaurant. All the dishes had so many flavors. It was definitely a fusion restaurant with all of the dishes being a little bit of Japanese and another type of cuisine. However, uh, I feel like a lot of the dishes we ate were pretty simple, like the pork belly buns, the ramen, and the sashimi tuna. There was just a little bit of twist in every dish, but I didn't think it was amazing. I just think it was interesting because they added, you know, different flavors and twists to an otherwise simple dish. The more simpler dishes I thought were pretty overpriced regarding that. But overall, I would say that it is a very interesting experience. If you guys want to try something new in Momofuku, I definitely respect all of the dishes. But yeah, like I said, to me, it wasn't anything too crazy. And I feel like I could find the, these dishes elsewhere for a much simpler price. So yeah, guys, I hope you guys like this video. Comment below where we should try next. Like this video and subscribe for more food vlogs. Deuces.